For centuries, this staple of any tropical diet has been used for far more than cooking and eating. But is coconut oil really a miracle food? Something you've probably noticed if you've paid attention to health and fitness headlines at all is that so-called superfoods come in and out of attention a lot. Whether it's coconut oil, kale, avocado, acai berries, the list goes on. So do so-called bad foods, the ones we're told to eliminate, but from what I've seen, it's often not clear where exactly these eat this, not that lists come from. And rather than look at foods as being actively good or actively bad on their own, I like to think of foods as being more or less nutritious in the context of the diet as a whole. And the overall goal of a healthy diet should be to include a variety of foods, with a focus on choosing more nutritious ones over less nutritious ones most of the time. And honestly, the term superfood is pure clickbait, just meaningless nutritional overhype like cleanse or detox, based on scant anecdotal evidence or over-extrapolated data. And according to a science-based medicine blog article, rather than help dietary decisions, designing what you eat based on superfoods can make meal planning more complex, with consumers focusing on single ingredients rather than overall dietary choices. But kiwis are different. Kiwi fruit contains two times the vitamin C of oranges. That's right, just one kiwi fruit covers all your daily vitamin C needs. And not only does it add nutrition, it also adds a beautiful pop of color to your plate. For the last year or so, I've been more or less eating one or two kiwis every day. And there's a good deal of scientific literature endorsing this idea. A 2013 review boasts kiwi fruit as a daily prescription for health. And as shown in this table, kiwi destroys apples, oranges, bananas, strawberries, and blueberries when it comes to total fiber content, vitamin C, vitamin E, and vitamin K. It scores second place falling just shy of oranges on beta carotene, and just shy of oranges again for another silver medal on lutein. It also ranks very highly for many minerals, especially potassium and copper. Sadly, to this day, the kiwi fruit is tragically underappreciated, occupying just 0.2% of the global fruit bowl, a market dominated by supposedly cooler apples, oranges, and bananas. And this prejudicial unpopularity isn't anything new. Indigenous to China, the fruit from the vine of Actinidia deliciosa was slowly gaining recognition among Western travelers and missionaries passing through China, and began in orchards across New Zealand in the early 1900s. But nearly 50 years would pass before the first commercial exports of kiwi fruit were made from New Zealand, starting with a small tray of just 2,000 Chinese gooseberries shipped to London in 1952. However, the name Chinese gooseberry wouldn't last, taunted as being unmarketable. So Frida Kaplan, owner of Frida's Finest Produce Specialties in Los Angeles, helped give the disregarded gooseberry a new identity. With its furry brown skin, it sort of resembled the iconic kiwi bird native to New Zealand. And Frida suggested New Zealand farmers rename the gooseberry to kiwi fruit to make it more marketable and hopefully more accepted. But despite the enormous shadow cast by smoother apples and bigger bananas and its tumultuous past with commercial identity differences, global production of kiwi fruit began its emancipating rise in the early 1980s, and for good reason. Modern nutritional science reveals a multitude of positive health effects associated with kiwi consumption, something that ancient Chinese medicine predicted, having used kiwi as a digestion aid and for irritability reduction. And in fact, advances in food and nutrition research cite clinical studies in a range of adult populations, consistently indicating that kiwis promote laxation, making them an effective dietary intervention for constipation. This is likely attributable to their high levels of fiber and a protease called actinidin, which helps digest proteins and improve gastric emptying. A 2013 paper cites an association between regular consumption and mood improvement. And according to a study from Lynn and colleagues, eating two kiwis before bed for four weeks resulted in improved sleep onset, sleep duration, and sleep quality in adults with self-reported sleep disturbances. But this really only scratches the surface. Enhanced immunity, reducing risk of cold or flu-like illness, more beneficial than supplementation of vitamin C alone, an improvement in iron status when consumed with iron-rich foods, and impressive antioxidant potential, being just a few more lines to add to its underrated resume. Be advised that roughly 1-2% to of the population is allergic to kiwi, so be aware of the early symptoms, and be careful to avoid the fruit if you are found to be allergic. Barring this exception, I encourage the rest of you, let's help bring the world's one true superfood, finally, to its long-deserved spot at the very top of the global fruit kebab.
Hey, what is going on everyone? Uh, thank you so much for watching the video. Just for the record, I uh, wanted to make this video as a little bit of a joke, kind of poking fun at the diet trends that you see and all the hype around superfoods and all that. Um, but I am actually a huge fan of kiwis. I love their taste and everything to do with their nutritional information that I presented in the video is 100% correct. Um, so I now officially have these shirts available. Uh, if you'd like to support me and support the channel, uh, you can click the link in the description below for the official channel merch. Uh, I've also got some other cool shirts here. So this one says train hard and smart. Um, so if you'd like to check that one out, you can. Uh, I've also got the official Jeff Nippard Fitness tees and these come in uh, multiple different colors. Looks like this one took a hit <laughs> during the travel. It's got like a stain on it. And then the kiwi one, I've got it in gray, black, and white, I think. And then there's also a kiwi one that has like Jeff Nippert Fitness uh, down below. So there's also kiwi mugs. I don't know if I have it here with me in the Airbnb. Uh, Stephanie and I are in Toronto right now, actually. Uh, so this is our Airbnb. I can give you a quick little tour. Oh, you have the star of the, the I show. I actually come with the Airbnb. Yeah. <laughs> so when you book the Airbnb, you get a tiny little You get Asian. one Asian. This is like the living area, and then we have kitchen here, and the bedroom, bathroom in there. And yeah, so it's a cozy, nice little Airbnb. So yeah, if you guys are interested, uh, you can check out the channel merch. Uh, a lot of people have been asking me about the, the Kiwi shirts, so make sure you go check them out. Uh, like the video if you liked it, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Uh, thanks once again, guys, so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Woo!